Have you seen the Go Fast video? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about those videos where you, there's no heat signature, no visible means of propulsion, and these things are whipping through the sky? I mean, you've talked to Mick West and, and other people, and I'm not saying he's not a scientist in the sense that mm -hmm. someone like I am. But some of these things are, you know, it always comes down to like, well, whose data is it? You know, right. Are, so you, these are fighter jet pilots that are seeing these things and they're discussing it. Play that video so you could listen to their, their discussion of it while you, they're seeing this thing. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? So when I look at those things, there's a couple of different things that you have to look at from an optical perspective, from a sensor perspective, mm -hmm. from a... Let me hear them talk. Yeah. So right now we're looking at this video where this thing seems to be trying to tracking it. Their, their systems are trying to track it. So they locked onto it now. So obviously they're freaking out. Yeah. So they locked onto it with their weapon system. Yeah. So so there's something called scale invariance, which is where you can't really tell in certain phenomena. Fractals are like, have you ever seen like the man mm -hmm. brought set? So no matter how much you zoom into it or zoom out of it, it looks the same. Right. And there are lots of features like that. And one of the manifestations of that is the ocean surface. There are waves on top of waves. Have you ever seen the beautiful Japanese woodcut mm -hmm. where it's like wave? On top? It's sure. Incredible. Um, so there you're seeing a lot of waves, but it's impossible to have any depth perception, right? Because we're only getting a single view of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a gyroscopic stabilization to, uh, that they're using in the FLIR system that's measuring it, right? So there is a heat signature. That's how they can see it on FLIR if the forward looking in for I mean, propulsion. Oh. It's like, it's universal. It's not like there's something coming out the back, like a right. jet engine where you could see it clearly. So so there have been mock-ups and simulations done for this where it's like you could have a balloon, you could have something spherical or, or something that's, that's actually going with the wind. But can't they detect how fast it's moving? Uh, no. So well, not not from that video. You can't necessarily but from their systems, from, from their weapon systems. They can't detect how fast. Like they clearly they are having a hard time locking onto it. So I asked Ariel Kleinerman and, and and Ryan about this, and they said it's classic. Like they wouldn't tell me what their radar is capable of saying. Only that right. they can use it to de determine certain properties. Of but things. it seemed very evident in that video that they were having a hard time catching it because it was moving at a very high rate of speed. This like, is they what two thousand and four. I think this this video was that one. Yeah. So, so they they're trying to lock onto this thing and it's moving too fast and you see the crosshairs try to keep up with it and then finally it locks onto it and that's when they cheer that we got it and they say look at that thing go right don't what? you think they would have an understanding of the speed that something's moving and, and not think of it as a balloon that's just floating around? Well, remember, this is stabilized, so they're locking on, so they're mm -hmm. moving in a perspective. Where right, but don't, don't you think their equipment has the ability to detect speed? Do you know how big the field of view of that thing was? I like, don't. Yeah, so we don't either. Well, I don't, right? I don't know if they do, I don't know if they've released right, how they? large they estimate it is. So I mean, this is all leaked video, right? Right. So if you were to look through this telescope, sorry, if you were to look through through this telescope mm -hmm. at the moon and there was a balloon on the telescope uh, you know floating in front of the moon and you could see it and it was big and like mm -hmm. a chinese spy balloon or something like that mm -hmm. and it's moving and you're moving and you don't know the relative field of view compared to the size of this object it may appear that it's going uh, if that thing is, a, is the size of an ember air jetliner yeah that's freaking fast right if it's the size of a balloon being carried by the wind that you are stabilized as in a parcel of wind it might not be well, we're assuming that there's wind we're right. assuming it's being oh, carried by the wind, wind over but the we're ocean, assuming yeah. it's being carried by the wind in the same direction we don't know which way the wind was blowing we don't but what my point is that they seem to think that that was very unusual and these aren't guys that are just like, oh, my God, a balloon, shoot it. Well, that's you when know? I went back to the f feeling of pity that, and again, he doesn't need my pity, but but let's say your life, you were seeing these things. And uh -huh. let's just say, let's forget it. It's a Chinese war drone, military drone that's coming to blow up the Nimitz, okay, or whatever they were on, okay? Um, and so you then, your co your compatriot, your comrade comes back to the deck. And you put like Independence Day posters on his rug and you've seen it too. It doesn't, it, that's not what I would do. If my kid comes to me and says, I saw, you know, 
uh, the boogeyman or something. She's like really nervous. I don't say like, well, you know, like let me tease her about it. Like, no, no, no. I okay, I, like, I wouldn't do that to my kid, but I would <laughs> definitely do that to my friends. If one of my friends said they saw an alien, a hundred percent. Oh, Joe, you would do it. I would it. take a rubber alien. I'd put it in their bed, have it tucked in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but just for fun, and that's what those guys were doing to him. You're making it seem like they, 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 they like horribly insulted if him. You, they okay. were just busting balls. Let me say this: Your pilot, let's say you uh, charter a private jet uh -huh. sometime. Okay, you're out with uh, Lex, and, and you're going to Vegas, right? And and you charter a private jet, right? Um, you're on the jet. The guy is in there, um, is, is flying the plane and he, you found out that he actually was an ex-military pilot and he did see one of these things. And so you get, um, uh, one of your friends, your buddies dresses up as an alien, bust into the cockpit and starts, I'm the alien that he finds. You wouldn't do it. I mean, that's well, a, that I'm seems like a silly comparison. I'm just what making you're a talking about is a guy the, who comes back. Though, but if he their comes life is back really from a flight claiming to have seen UFOs and his friends bust his balls. This happened many times. Uh, but that's in the military. That's know, normal military. But Ryan's saying the opposite now. Ryan's saying the no, these people are scared for their safety now. Now he's doing the Americans for Safe Aerospace that he has to be, and, and part of their mission is to protect pilots and destigmatize them. This is because of close encounters them. with these things, and right? This is the This is the, uh, the square in a circle. The, 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 yeah. um, the cube around a, a sphere. Is it a cube around a sphere? Is that what it, is? it could be. Uh, Which way is it? Website. Is it a black cube it's that's on my in video. a sphere? I made a, I made a very expensive thumbnail for my video with Ryan Graves. A sphere, a sphere a inside a cube? Yeah. So this sphere inside a cube is a repeating theme, right? They see a lot of these. On the East Coast. Yeah. On the East Coast. Yeah, on the West Coast. So do you just... think these things are start... drones? What do you think these things are? Well, do you remember the Chinese spy balloon, <laughs> you know, that came about yeah. recently? And do you remember how we didn't shoot it down? Yeah. Do you remember when that came about? It was like right before this disclosure was about to get, get kicked off. I mean, there's some weird things that are going on. There's certainly you things. You connect those two things together, one thing that moves in a very bizarre way that they can't seem to replicate. They don't know how these things like stay stable at 120 knots. Well, this According is to all of his equipment, unless their equipment totally sucks. And this is like the equipment that got upgraded in 2014. Right. But then they say, oh, I can't tell you about the equipment. And right. So, so but they can tell you that when the equipment was upgraded, that's when they started detecting these things. So if the equipment is accurate and the equipment is upgraded and then they put it on these jets and these guys are detecting these things. And then there's visual confirmation of these things by multiple pilots and it's a reoccurring thing they see them in the same areas all the time well it's, then why wouldn't the government go out why wouldn't they be sending out i asked ryan that. i said why don't they send out sorties every day if they're if they're doing it at nothing less because they do maybe it it's training. theirs you're right it could be